Hey there, Warriors enthusiasts. Before we dive into this hot discussion, please give that video a like, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any updates about our team, and turn on notifications to stay in the loop with the latest Golden State Warriors news. Today, we bring up a topic that's on everyone's minds. The potential acquisition of a new talent for the Golden State Warriors. In recent days, the name Renz Abando has been making waves as a possible addition to our squad. But it's important to remember that the information has been nothing more than rumors and speculation. This reminds us of the time when Kai Soto's name was also in discussion, yet again, with no concrete confirmations. Now, we want to hear from you, Warriors fans, especially those rooting from the Philippines. If this were to become a reality, which of these two players would you prefer to see wearing our jersey? Share your opinions in the comments below. The Golden State Warriors are looking to bolster their roster for the upcoming NBA season, and the highlighted position that needs to be filled is power forward. Two names that could potentially join the team are Kai Soto and Renza Bando, two young talents from Filipino basketball. Let's start with Kai Soto. He's a 7-0 center, born on March 2nd, 2003, and already has some professional basketball experience. Soto began his basketball journey in the Philippines by playing for the Ateneo de Manila University in college. In 2018, he made history by becoming the youngest player to step onto a UAAP court, the Filipino Collegiate League. In 2020, he made history again by signing a professional contract with an NBA G League team, becoming the first Filipino player to achieve such a feat. After stints in Australia and Japan, Soto has shown himself to be an athletic player, excellent at rebounding, and with great defensive potential. Additionally, he possesses a sharp three-point shot. Now let's talk about Renz Abando. Born on April 23, 2002, Abando is a 6'7 power forward and is considered one of the top prospects in Filipino basketball. He began his college career playing for the University of Santo Tomas and in 2021 was named the UAAP MVP. In 2022, Abando took a step forward by transferring to the KBL, the Korean Professional League, becoming the first Filipino player to compete there. In the 2022-23 season, he excelled with Anyang KGC, contributing to the team making the playoffs. Abando is known for his versatility, accuracy in three-point shooting, dribbling skills, and ability to finish near the rim. Now, the burning question, which of these two would be the better fit for the Golden State Warriors? Soto is more traditional, focusing on defense and inside play, while Abando is a modern player, shining on offense with versatile skills. The Warriors need someone to help maintain our title in the NBA. Soto would be a great choice, bringing athleticism and solid defense. However, considering the NBA's modern playing style, Abando could also be an excellent option with his versatility and offensive abilities. This is a tough decision that depends on the specific needs of the Golden State Warriors. So, Warriors fans, before we wrap up this exciting conversation, I want to see your opinions in the comments. Soto or Abando? Which of these talents do you think would be the best addition to our team? Leave your choices and arguments below because we want to hear every voice in our community of passionate fans. Also, don't forget to give that like to show your love for the Warriors. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any team updates and turn on notifications to stay up to date with the latest news. Together, we are an incredible force. Let's show our passion for the Golden State Warriors and continue to support our team in all the decisions that lie ahead. Thank you for being part of this journey with us, and until next time.